Hi guys, Brandon Scarlet back with another video and today I just want to talk about a few things that I've seen going on online. There's a few stories that are kind of catching my interest, I think that's the best way to say it. So yeah, let's just talk about a few of them. Okay, the first one that I want to talk about is everything that's been going on between PewDiePie and T-Series. I'm guessing most of you have already seen what's actually going on, uh, but if you haven't, T-Series uh, Media Corporation are about to surpass PewDiePie. Uh, right now, as I'm making this video, T-Series are on 71,919,000 and PewDiePie is on 72,167,000. So it is so close. I really like PewDiePie. I really enjoy watching his content. But if someone's going to take him over, it's going to happen at some point. But I do, no, do not believe that it should be T-Series. Think about it. This is a media corporation against one man, one creator. And the thing is, that's what YouTube is the platform for. It's for creators. And I think it'd be a real shame to see a fuller media corporation become the top channel. At this point, I'd even be happier if it was like... Morgs or Eli Socre, both creators who, in my opinion, create complete abysmal videos. But they do appeal to an audience, so there are people who enjoy it, fair enough. But the main point here is at least they create their own content. They're not like a big media corporation, they do the work themselves. I think really my point here is that I really, really hope that PewDiePie destroys T-Series. If you're watching this and you aren't subscribed to him, I suggest going and subscribing to him just so that we can push forward this Creators Matter, like on, on the platform Creators Matter and we don't want to see this media corporation becoming the most popular thing on this platform. It, it, it'll just be completely stupid. Moving on to the next topic, we've got Article 13. I'm going to be honest with this. When it comes to articles and things like that, when it's coming to passing law, I'm not smart, I like, I'm pretty dumb. But from what I have read about uh, Article 13 is initially the idea behind it is a really good thing. It's in place to actually help creators a lot more with their own content. You see a lot of channels who post like videos in their ent entirety, not providing any commentary or uh, really adding anything to the video, they're just posting that and claiming money off it. Um, but Article 13 was really in place to help people like that, help creators have control over their own content. But the problem that I've seen is it's it's really going to damage a lot of channels and it's really going to damage YouTube as a platform. It's kind of hard for me to explain everything behind Article 13. Because, like I said, when it comes to passing laws, I'm not exactly smart. Basically, the disadvantage of what's going on is that it's going to make it harder for creators um, to use content under fair use. Which is a real shame because there are so many creators on the site who use footage from other videos or use memes or things like that in their videos. But adding extra things in so that it's not like they're stealing the content, they're actually adding something to it, improving it. Yeah, it'd just be a shame to see the negative impact of all of this. It could force channels to shut down and everything, which you just really don't want to see. I know I really can't explain it, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a link in the description so that you can find out, about, find out for yourself what Article 13 is actually about. I originally wasn't going to talk about that topic because I felt like I'm a small channel. It's not really like it's going to reach many people, me talking about it. But then... I actually had a thought about it and what really counts is that everyone gets their voices heard. Article 13 has already been pushed through, but there are things that we can do. Just making your voice heard could add something to it because like, there's still amendments being made to it and everything. So, yeah, just make your voice heard. That's all I'm saying. Uh, let's move on now to diss tracks. Oh, God, diss tracks. Can they just be over? <laughs> the main thing that I want to say here is... We recently had sort of some weird like little beef between Randolph and Deji. I, I don't really get, well, it's Deji. Yeah, it, it's Deji. That's all you need to really say on that subject. I wouldn't really be talking about this apart from the fact that I listened to Randolph's diss track and 
It sounded really good. Nothing you've achieved is credible. Too busy taking edibles. Backstage just hours before. That is something I cannot ignore. Real reason you lost the fight. Way too busy getting high. Like, I think that's the best part of all of this. We, we got a really good diss track. Like, in the past we've been able to maybe go like, oh, it was pretty okay for a YouTuber. Uh, this one actually just sounded really good, so... Yeah, I'll link it in the description for you to check out. Uh, Deji responded. And... Deji's response was pretty crap. Not gonna lie. Maybe I'm just biased because I don't like Deji. He's, he's an idiot. He is a brain-dead idiot. That, that's all I can say. Like, if you've seen anything from him lately... Like, you may have seen what he did at the eSports Awards show. It, it was just cringy and stupid like he, he called out twitch that's it yeah yo, yo where's twitch where's twitch yo yo shout out to twitch for illegally streaming our fight yeah you owe us money he announced the wrong person as the winner for the award well this award goes to epic games no i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking I mean, it was it's a joke it's a joke it, it goes to blizzard well done blizzard blizzard hey the look on that guy's face just literally says it all the guy's head isn't screwed on properly is it the one big thing that i actually really enjoyed from this is randolph did a reaction to deji's new song run Ugh. And right at the beginning of the video, he goes, uh, I do hope I can milk some more from this. I do really like that because it's a case of he's not going to go in your face and go, oh, I hope this is done. I hope this is where it ends. He'll actually go, yeah, he's getting me views. I do hope I can get more views from it. At least he's being honest with you. But yeah, there is like other diss tracks at the minute, like the one by Quadeca to KSI. I'm going to be honest. I haven't checked it out because I'm kind of done with this whole diss track thing. It was enter it was entertaining when it first happened. Literally, we knew it was all fake, but there was that aspect of entertainment in it. Now it just feels like trying to rehash something that's already died out. Moving on to something lighter. PlayStation have announced the PlayStation Classic. I am really excited for this because it's bringing back the games from my childhood on like the little system. Like They did it with the... Was it the SNES they did it with? They re-released it as all the games built in. And yeah, that, that was really popular. But with this one, I feel like it's going to be even more popular. You've got games like Abe's Odyssey. Uh, the first Grand Theft Auto is going to be on there. I think we've got Rayman on there as well. There's a lot of games actually built into it. And yeah, you're going to be able to relive your childhood. Who doesn't want that? So yeah, I know it's not really much of a talking point. But... It's just something that I'm looking forward to and I really wanted to mention. Just, I'm excited for it. Yeah, that's about it really. Um, I know today is probably going to be a bit of a shorter video. I just wanted to sit down and have a little talk. I feel like I haven't really done it in a while where I've just sat down and talked to the camera. Yeah, it's something I like doing because it, it's just like expressing my own opinions on things and actually just talking. <laughs> I feel like we don't do enough of it, so yeah. Hopefully I'm going to do more of these in the future. Uh, it's just about having the right topics to talk about because I want to make sure that I know what I'm talking about before I make this sort of video. But yeah, if you guys have any idea of any other sort of videos that you'd like to see from me, let me know down in the comments below. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Also, subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, catch you in the next one.